Welcome once again to this, our third video, right here on YouTube on our complete Flutter course. In this video, we're going to go through the solution to the exercise I gave you guys last time. Now, if you haven't done the exercise, uh, I, I really have to tell you, just pause the video right here. Don't watch the rest until you've gone through this and actually done the exercise by yourself. Programming, coding generally, is something which you will only learn by doing. You're not going to become a good programmer by watching tutorials or just watching the solution. You have to actually think through it by yourself, figure out what's going on, why you're doing the things you're doing, and only through struggling through the different problem sets, that's how you can gain the skills you need to become a good programmer. So again, if you haven't already done the exercise by yourself, go ahead and pause the video right here do it first and then come back to get the solution to see if you did it the same way and if you did it a different way but it still works go ahead and share your solution in the comments okay so if you're still watching I'm assuming you're ready for the solution so let us jump straight in the very first thing we need to do in this program just like any other programs is our void main open and close curly brackets so I mentioned we can hard code uh, the seconds. One thing I didn't mention was why we're doing it. Essentially to take an input. If I wanted a user input through Dart, I could do it through the CLI over here, but that's not something you're going to use in Flutter. That's just for the command line. So I don't see the use in spending time learning command line interface things, which we won't use. Um, on the other hand, if I want to have a GUI, a graphic user interface, input, well, we're going to learn that down the line, not right now. Uh, we'll need to learn a lot more before then. So we'll start with int seconds, and let's choose a nice number like 126. If you tried using double seconds, it's not... For seconds, it's not that big of a problem, but you will run into problems with minutes and hours, especially if you don't use that floor divide. So in here, because we're using whole numbers on all of our variables, we really should be using ints, not doubles. So then let's get the minutes. And how are we going to do that? Well, we have 126. We should all know that should be two minutes. So to get that, we're going to say int minutes equals, and we'll take our seconds and do the floor divide by two. Oh, sorry, <laughs> by 60. <laughs> and you might be wondering why we're doing floor divide, not the usual division. And we can quickly check with a print statement. If I say print minutes, and then in my command line, I'll say dart, and this is in a folder called v3, exercise1.dart. You can see by doing print minutes with the floor divide, it gives me the answer two. But if I try to do a regular divide, well, first it's going to give me an error because this answer will be a double. But if I did say I want to use double minutes, you're going to see I'll get a number like 2.1. So that means our final answer would say 2.1 minutes and 6 seconds, which, you know, it's not correct. Uh, so that's why we're using int, and that is also why we're using the floor divide, not the regular divide. However, this is still not correct. Because what if we put an extra zero here and then one more zero here? What are we gonna get at this point? Well, it's gonna tell us that our minutes is 200, which although that's correct for the minutes, we also want to have our int hours. And if we have our int hours and you know it says 200 minutes, that's gonna say however many um, n hours, and then 200 minutes, you can see this again is not correct. So what we need to do to get the correct amount of minutes is to say that modulo 60. 
So modulo is that uh, operation I told you guys about last time, which says just give me the remainder. Drop anything which is higher than 60 and just give me what's left. So doing this uh, with this specific number is going to give me 20. So that's 20 minutes. All of the rest is going to go into the hours. So that leads us to int hours equals and you might be tempted to say, oh, give me the minutes and then do the same thing. Floor divide by 60. But this is not going to work. And the reason it's not going to work. So let's try it. It's going to give us zero. Because remember, we did that modulo 60 to get rid of anything extra. So the minutes is displaying correctly. So as a result, we can't use this. Instead, we'll go back to using seconds. We floor divide once, and then floor divide this second time. Now this time we don't have to do modulo 60 because there aren't 60 hours in any unit of time. If we wanted to, we could use modulo 24 and then calculate the number of days as well. Um, but that's not necessarily what we'll do in this exercise. So if we run it like this, we'll see the correct number of hours printed right here. So that's three hours. Okay, so now we can put, well, there's one more thing we need to do. So in seconds here is the total amount of seconds. It's not the amount of seconds we want to actually show the user. To do that, we could say int display seconds equals, and if I could spell, and we'll take seconds and use modulo 60. So the same way we had to use the modulo 60 here for the minutes, we can do it for the seconds. And in this case, it's just going to display six seconds. And finally, we can build a nice print statement using all of this. So we can say print, open close brackets, semicolon at the end, put our single quotes, double quotes are also fine dollar sign hours and that's going to be the variable with hours dollar sign minutes minutes dollar sign and which one are we using that's correct display seconds seconds and now if we print this out it should show us three hours 20 minutes and six seconds and we can see that if we change our hard-coded seconds here it's going to update the time correctly. One minute, 18 seconds. Uh, we could put a completely random number and just see what happens. See, it still works. We get a lot of hours, 12 minutes and 58 seconds. Okay, so we can see that all of this works, but there are of course some improvements we could make. For example, Notice that here, even if we say one minute, it still has the S at the end, which it shouldn't be doing that. It, and it will be the same with seconds and hours. We should have a way of saying, hey, show minutes when you need to and show minutes when you need to. Also, with our current implementation, we can't actually say hours, colon, minutes colon sec uh, display seconds because although we can write this just fine and it, with this particular value it, it's fine but if I choose something smaller it's going to show me zero hours two three and that's not how it should look it should say zero hours that's fine but then zero two zero three so you might be tempted to say, okay, let's just add the zeros here. But of course, if we do that and we go back to a larger number, then it's going to say 025, 045. So to be able to do this correctly, we need to learn a few more things, specifically if statements and ternary, I can't say that word, ter ternary operators. But yeah, that's exactly what you guys can look forward to in the next video. 
So guys, that is all for this, the solution to the first exercise. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. In the meantime, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so that you can learn everything about Flutter, Dart and all those things. And in the meantime, myself, Avidius, am out.